Hi guys! Power over Ethernet technology has revolutionized the way we deploy and manage devices. But sometimes, distance becomes a hurdle. And that's where our PoE extenders comes in. And in this video, we are going to dive into everything that you need to know to make an informed decision when selecting the perfect PoE extender for your specific requirement. And also, you can unlock the opportunity to receive a complimentary design consultation for your technology system by effortlessly sharing your questions through the link down in the description box below. And our team of experts are eagerly awaits for your questions. PoE Extender is a device played a crucial role in extending PoE signal beyond the traditional distance limitation of Ethernet cable. That's about 100 meters. And PoE Extender can overcome the distance limitation by amplifying PoE signal, ensuring that sufficient power and data reach to the intended devices. And by boosting the data, PoE Extender enables the use of standard Ethernet cable to extend the reach of PoE-enabled devices, such as security cameras and wireless access point, without compromising performance or requiring additional power sources. And PoE Extender can also provide greater flexibility, coverage, and cost effectiveness in various networking and civilian event scenarios. PoE Extender has two different types. We have the PoE Extender that can provide both power and data at the same time. We also have the Data Extender that focuses solely on extending data transmission without providing power. So when it comes to selecting the PoE Extender, there are several factors to consider to ensure it meets your specific requirement. First, determine if you are transmitting data only or PoE. Second, determine the maximum distance between your switch and your edge devices. Third, the port configuration or the number of the port that you need. Four, the power budget and voltage requirement. So now I'm going to showcase a few of the PoE extender and explain the details. First, I'm going to introduce you to our Ethernet Extension Kit. This kit offers a cost-effective way to expand your Ethernet network beyond 100 meters, providing seamless connection between devices. The kit includes a PoE extender and a PoE injector, and is compatible with a wide range of devices. This kit can only support data transmission, but up to 1,500 feet, that's about 500 meters, when using two extension kit, and there will be nothing else in between, only a single Ethernet cable. I'm going to showcase the connection later using two of this kit. Next, we have our PoE extender. Now, this is the common PoE extender. This extender is IP67 waterproof rated and also can supply up to 100 megabit per second data transfer rate. And also, it's compatible with IEEE 802.3 AF, AT, and BT standard can support up to 60 watts of power output. With the plug and play feature, it's easy to install. Just plug it and you can use it. Next, we have the Outdoor Waterproof 802.3 BT PoE Extender. This extender has two PoE ports, allows one PoE in and two PoE outs to meet IP cameras with gigabit Ethernet and 30 watts high power output. This is IP67 waterproof rated, but then only one PoE cable is needed if you're demanding for supporting two remote IP devices at the edge. Last but not least, we have this 95 watts 2 port PoE extender with 60 watts output, reliably extend the Ethernet port to install IP cameras in extreme harsh environment. It has metal housing IP67 watt vandal proof, and the working temperature ranges from minus 40 degrees up to 75 degrees, so it's perfect for outdoor usage. Also, it can support up to 1,000 meters could be per second data transfer rate. So now we are done introducing all the PoE extenders. Let's do the connection together. 
As you can see, everything is in position. Now I'm going to do the connection with two routers and 500 meters Ethernet cable in between. First, I'm going to use a short patch cord here to connect the router to our PoE extender. Let's take the gland and the neck out for easy installation. Plug it in here. Next, we're going to use another short patch cord to connect the extender to our PoE injector. We are going to connect to the PoE output port because this injector is actually giving power to the extender. Remember, the extender can only transmit data. Now I'm going to use this Ethernet cable to connect to the LAN port. Since I don't have a big roll of 500 meter Ethernet cable, that's why I'm using 300 meters and 200 meters together. So I'm going to use a coupler here to join both cables together. They're now connected and form a 500 meters Ethernet cable. And use this to connect to the LAN port over here. Use another short patch cord to connect to PoE output port in order to power up our PoE extender. And use this Ethernet cable to connect to our router. Just like this. So this is how we set up a 500 meters continuous Ethernet run with two extension kit. As you can see, there's nothing else in between, only the Ethernet cable. And here are a few more considerations while selecting the PoE extender. First, PoE standard. You have AO 2.3 AF, AT, and BT standard. And different standard can provide different power output. Second is the data transmission rate. We have 10, 100, and 1000 megabit per second to choose from. Last but not least, environmental consideration. If you're putting your extender outdoor, make sure you choose one that's waterproof rated and have different operating temperature range. Now, for its alternative solution, here's a video on how to use a long-range PoE switch to reach up to 1,600 feet continuous PoE transmission. And thank you very much for watching.